Hello everyone, it's that college football guy here with another video. Yeah, I'm here in a sleeper. Uh, I'm getting ready to get some stew out of the cooler here, <laughs> the little fridge, and uh, that I made over the weekend and fired up so I have something to eat. But first things first, see the title of the video. UNLV hires Barry Odom to be their new head coach. I'll get into that in a second. First off, let's get the housekeeping out of the way. Everyone, please smash that like button. Helps with the analytics, helps with the algorithm, helps the video to be seen by more people on YouTube. Comment on the video. I love interacting with everyone. And subscribe to the channel. We just crossed 200 on our way to 300 now. Barry Odom said a while back, not too long ago, that he was being a strong candidate for the Tulsa job, if everyone remembers that not too long ago. And head coach of Arkansas, Sam Pittman, said that he fully expected him to be there for their bowl game. So I don't think that's going to happen. Um, <laughs> he could still do it and uh, take the job after the bowl game, um, which is possible, but I doubt it. Um, no particulars were discussed. No money was discussed. Um, there was a press statement released out there how happy he was to be there. And the standard press release you get from everybody said the fact looking forward to building something there. Okay. I said this before and I'll say it again. Name me a city in the group of five that has more NIL money available than Las Vegas and UNLV. There's casino executives who support UNLV, Andre Agassi and some other athletes, actors who live there support UNLV, uh, Mr. Fertitta, before, the Fertitta has actually supported UNLV, and I don't know if they still down at the University of Houston, but they still have ties to it, the UFC does, that's a lot of money, not to mention everybody else who's there, that's a lot of money, so they should be able to pull something in here, they should be able to. Had to fix the screen here for a second. <laughs> but they should be able to pull in a lot of money here. Um, so this contract, I'm pretty sure it's got to be decent paying. It's got to be at least $2 million a year because I'm figuring Arkansas paid at least one point something to have him as defensive coordinator. Um, so he's got to be getting at least $2 million for this, probably more than that. Um, if he's going to turn down the Tulsa job, which was rumored to be like two point something million dollars. You know, in order to get that job, you'd have to pay more. But with, like I said, they've got the boosters, they got the NIL money, they got the money to do it. Um, as for what his coaching staff's going to look like, I got a funny feeling it's going to be a Big 12 SEC feel um, based on his past connections. You know, from 2015 to two, excuse me, 2016 to 2019, he was the head coach of Missouri, went 25 and 25, and for the last three years, he's been the defensive coordinator at Arkansas. So he's been in the SEC for a long time now. He also has ties to other coaches who are in the Big 12. I'm thinking that's the field that's going to be here. A little bit of a grit and grind and more defensive oriented, which makes sense because defensively they gave up a ton of points. Now, if you can get SEC athletes in the Mountain West for UNLV with that money behind it and NAL there, and then get some athletes on offense with a good coordinator, hey, a lot of things could happen there. But... We will see. I have heard nothing about the staff. It's kind of funny. I mentioned earlier in the video. Heard nothing about UNLV, which usually means they're starting to recruit, do some recruiting. Yeah. Barry Odom does a Zoom meeting to meet with, to do a Zoom interview with Tulsa. Apparently he was doing a Zoom interview with UNLV at the same time and nobody else knew about it. But, uh, yeah. So officially, the Arkansas defensive coordinator, Barry Odom, is the new head coach at UNLV. It was leaked this evening. It will be formally announced um Formally Wednesday morning, um, the official thing. He's released a statement, a statement, but uh, the formal official announcement will be made Wednesday morning. So let me know down in the comments what you think about this one. I think it's a great hire. It could be good on here. I think he could be on there provided. Actually, I'll take that back. It could be a great hire provided. It's a good hire for now. It could be great if they get the right offensive coordinator. They need someone who can help with the offense. And they need to get better athletes in here. And that's where NIL money is going to come in. So, like I said, let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Do you think it's a great hire? Do you think it's a good hire? Do you think they could have done better? Let me know down in the comments. So, thanks, everybody, for watching this video. It is a late Tuesday evening. At least here, it's almost 7 o'clock. It's not really late, but it's late for me because normally I get to bed about 8 o'clock and I'm back up at 4 in the morning. So, thanks, everybody, for watching this video. 
always please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Hope everybody has a, everybody has a great evening, and please be good to each other.